hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a demo of the new natasha denona highlighter now this came out with the midi no the mini pastel palette which i did not pick up because i actually have the midi uh pastel palette and it just wasn't i didn't feel like it was worth buying uh because i already have that palette and i kind of didn't like the colors in the mini palette um so here is the highlight and so it kind of has like this um pink to green shift you've got like some pink on this corner just some opal kind of champagne like shade in the middle and then we've got this light sagey uh green in this corner here i'm not gonna lie i don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up i do film in natural light just so that you guys can get the best kind of um lighting like true to color but do you guys see that like green shift up here and then the pink shift down here and then right here across it's like a champagne kind of tone i'm not gonna lie the green scared me a little bit because green highlight i just didn't see that translating well on any skin tone I'm just gonna be honest um, but the pink, I was all about it, and the opal, I was like, okay, you know, seems really pretty. So when I saw her swatches, um, all the colors mixed together, I liked. However, I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and tell you right now, the amount of pink and green that there are on each corner, I don't feel like that's gonna make much of a difference in a swatch. I really, truly believe that this is just going to be a one colored highlight um, and the re reason i purchased it is because um in the video i did a couple weeks back i think it was last week where i was telling you all the things i want to pan i didn't have any highlighters really in there and it's because highlighters is one of those makeup products i buy the least of and so i felt like i was running low i think i have like about three highlighters in my collection right now and so i felt like this was going to be a good addition to my collection uh, i want to go ahead and start off by talking about the packaging i did purchase this off of beautylish the packaging of this is absolutely stunning um my favorite color is green so sage is one of those colors i just naturally gravitate to emerald that deep emerald green is my favorite shade but i am not opposed to any kind of green shade so this really spoke to me immediately i also loved the size i think that this is an appropriate size for highlighter you know i feel like this is something i can use in a timely fashion without it expiring or getting old and actually panning oops sorry i hit my desk um, the shelf life on this is 18 months and the this is made in Italy. It is vegan, not tested on animals, alcohol free, preservative free, mineral oil free. Um, and then on the back, she's giving you instructions on how you can use this highlight. So you can apply this with your fingertips or she suggests that you use a dense brush. I am not going to use a dense brush in this video uh, unless I have to because I like my highlight to be very subtle which she claims for this highlight to be very subtle. So I don't want to use a dense brush because with my experience with Natasha Denona products they're extremely extremely pigmented. Um, that is the nature of her formula and so I don't want to use a dense brush. I'm going to start off with just a regular highlight brush that I use from Real Techniques which is a 402 um, and I'm going to try using that. If I need more opacity I will get a denser brush but for right now that's how I'm going to start to use it. If you wanted to use this as a blush she suggests you use a fluffy blush brush for that i just don't see this having enough pink pigmentation to use this as a blush as a blush topper sure 
but as a blush i don't i don't see that happening but again this is all speculation because i haven't even swatched it or used it yet i'm going to use um this uh highlight as a mon monochromatic i can't speak today as usual a monochromatic situation because i want to see how this translates on the eyes for like a one and done shade and so let's go ahead and get started all right the first thing i want to start off with are swatches and before i get 1001 questions about the pin i have in my hair this is the westman atelier um hair pin it is amazing uh, i know it's expensive but i use it a lot and it holds up my very heavy long hair uh very well and the uh like the 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 tongues on the pin are super super strong so they don't bend uh which i think is important you got what i'm wearing on my face out of the way just because i didn't want this video to be a thousand years long so i have my bare minerals original foundation on my face i wear the color light number eight and then i set my face with my bare minerals uh mineral veil uh powder for bronzer i have my Too faced hot cocoa you guys can we just talk about this just really work like i'm still getting color out of this Too faced i mean i'm impressed and for blush i am wearing my chanel rouge profond in number 320 and this guy i've been struggling to use lately um the corners of this like i'm um, it's like hard pan almost and i've tried to remove it a couple times but it's just like hard and i'm it's really hard for me to dig color out of there and i feel like i still have a lot of product to use and i can't really get to it so i've tried using tape and that you know has been a temporary thing you know i feel like the moment i stick my brush in it again it does that and i don't wear cream products like i'm not wearing cream products on my face so i don't understand i don't understand but i digress okay so i have my blush on my cheeks and i put a little bit on my on my nose i'm trying that winter that winter girl look i'm, I'm still not sure about it i'm still not sure about it but i, I it's okay um i'm actually not gonna prime my lids because i feel that this um formula is gonna do fine without primer um so let's go ahead and get started i am using my real techniques 402 brush and i'm going to actually no let's get started with swatches i feel like that's where that's where we're at i'm gonna do the green part first so you guys can see okay then i'm gonna go into the center and then i'm gonna go into the pink corner like i said i really don't see much of a difference here so this is the green shift this is the center and then this is the pink. I mean, are you guys seeing any kind of difference here? I feel like it's all the same tone. I don't see any green or pink on either, either of the swatches, but I mean, leave me a comment below, a, a comment below if you guys see a difference, but I don't see a difference. <laughs> So I'm going to go into the the whole, I'm going to do one side with the whole, all of it mixed together. And then I'm going to do the other side with just one of the corners, just to see, even though I can't see it on swatches, it, what's it going to hurt, right? Okay, so I'm going wow 
Okay, <laughs> this picked up a lot of products for it being a seamless, uh, you know, shadow. I mean, highlight. You guys seeing the beaming? The beaming. Okay, let me let me take off some some because I feel like I I put a lot of my brush. Okay, so I'm just applying that to the cheekbones and. Okay, I, this is seamless for Natasha Denona. <laughs> I should have known better. She has a formula, like her eyeshadow formulas and her blush and highlight formulas. They're very pigmented. And like I, I can see how this is her version of what she thinks a seamless highlight. <laughs> would be and honestly it is beautiful but guys this is beaming beaming i'm not even going to use my fingers on this side because it's only going to give me it's like high opacity that's that's a lot let's do the other side oh i'm going to try i'm going to flip my brush over to the other side because it's clean i'm going to try the pink side of this just out of curiosity and i'm gonna lightly dip my brush because i feel like i may have gone in too hard at one time okay so for me this is what seamless is it just kind of catches the light i may have gone in a little too hard with the brush because she said seamless and i was like oh i shouldn't be afraid you should always be afraid you should always be very cautious with the natasha denona formulas <laughs> if what you're looking for is you know seamless so this is just the side that supposedly has the pink shift do you guys see any of any pink shift i don't see any pink shift i just see the same color this side is much stronger um so i'm gonna just go ahead and build it up truly it's not an overspray by the way um the more i dig my brush into the corner uh, I just want to show you um, there is quite a bit of kick up with this product so if that's a deal breaker for you you're probably not gonna like this but you see how the pink still is still there so it's not an overspray it's legitimately pink on that side but it just it's just not um, translating I'm gonna bring this up to my temples because I gotta do something with the rest of this product it's it's just not translating pink you know i'm gonna wipe my brush on my microfiber towel here because i your girl's gotta blend this out that's way too much highlight like i look i look like a like a shining star you know so it is you know it is seamless for Natasha Denona standards. You guys understand what I'm saying? So I had to blend it out, <laughs> but it is it is very strong. And I think that if you just lightly um, tap your brush in there, you can achieve you can achieve that um, seamless you know look. I am just wiping my brush clean on a microfiber towel, and then I'm just going to blend this out further so it it is very workable um in the sense of like it continues to blend the more i run my brush through it so it is a marvelous formula in that sense and because it continues to blend out i can very well see this working as a blush topper uh, because like I said, as I continue to, you know, work it in, clean my brush and run it over, it continues to just blend and blend and blend. So this definitely could be a beautiful um, blush topper. All right, now let's go and use this as a eyeshadow. I w just, I'm curious. I want to do kind of like a monochromatic type of look i'm gonna go in with my sonia g worker pro brush i'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and 
let's again try to test out the pink and green uh, pigments in here okay so like I said I have not primed my lids okay I'm dipping my brush into the pink side of the palette and I am going to add this just as a wash of color to the lids. And then on the other eye, I'm going to do the green one. So this applies really nicely as a one and done shade. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I really like that. I think it's very seamless, um, beautiful, subtle. Okay, I'm now going to use a Crease Pro brush from Sonia G. And I'm just kind of, it's clean. I'm just going to blend the edges out here because I don't want to get this anywhere on my brow bone area. I just want to blend out the crease. Okay, wiping my Sonia G brush on a microfiber uh, towel and I'm gonna go into the green side and now let's go ahead and compare these both of these sides so it started to get warm just side note <laughs> this week and yesterday it just like kind of rained all day and when I tell you that by like six o'clock it was 50 degrees <sighs> my body my body was in shock for those of you who don't know um, born and raised in Miami and I don't live in Miami anymore but I'm just not used to anything below 70 <laughs> degrees. My body just, oh, I realized I wasn't even in frame. Sorry. My body just doesn't understand. It doesn't understand those types of temperatures. Going in with a clean, um, the clean Sonia G. Oh, what is this called? Crease Pro and just blending out the edges here really quick. Okay, so on this side we have the pink and on this side we have the green. I don't see a pink shift or a green shift. To me, I just see the same color. Anybody else? Leave me a comment down below. I really would like to hear your thoughts. I really don't see a difference at all in here. So, I do like the color of the highlighter but i really don't think that there is a difference truly i think that i applied a little bit more shadow on this side and so i'm going to apply a little bit more on this eye just to kind of even that out the formula is amazing it blends beautifully but but i really don't see much of a difference so i'm gonna go in with some mascara some brow gel some eyeliner and i'll be right back all right i'm back so what i've applied to the eyes is my chanel eyeliner in 518 uh this color comes in and out of stock but this is that second shade i had um, I had a bronze shade that I had been using. You guys know I don't like this eyeliner. And I had bought two. And I wasn't going to return this one. So I just started using this one. So this one is kind of like a metallic purple. Not my best eyeliner um, day. Just because the applicator on this is terrible. Um, then on my bottom waterline. I applied my Chanel uh, eyeliner in 949 Blank Grafique. If you guys have this, this is a limited edition eyeliner. Pull this out. It looks amazing on the waterline. Um, next on brows, I use my Benefit Gimme Brow. And I am shade number four. And for my lashes, I use my Bare Minerals Lashtopia Mascara. And then for lips, to keep with the Natasha Denona theme, I used my 
I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in Natasha. And I used my My Dream Lipstick from Natasha Denona in Natasha 11NB. And this is what I have on my lips now with the lip liner. I love this lip combo. Not gonna lie. So this is the final look. And I feel like this is a very, you know, subtle, everyday look. I'm, I don't have any primer on the lids. And as you can see, um, let me get a little bit closer for you. That has not smudged. So it has increased at all. And I knew this formula would do perfectly fine without any kind of primer. Here it is in some brighter sunlight. For those of you who wanted to see that. But yes, I think that this is, um, it's beautiful. Uh, you can use this, I think, not only as highlight, but like a one and done um, shade on the lids, which is like a good way to get use out of highlighters. Like if you're somebody who doesn't have, doesn't use a lot of highlighters, you actually can use your highlighters as brow bone highlights in conjunction with whatever palette you're currently using. Um, and you can also use them as one and done shades. They work really well that way. I have been using my highlighters that way for the past two years. And I find that when I'm in a pinch or I'm in a hurry and I literally really only have five minutes, I just grab my highlight shade and I just put it all over the lid and I'm out the door and it looks beautiful. I get just as many compliments as I do when I wear any other shadow. So this was my demo of the Natasha Denona, the new Natasha Denona highlighter. And this was to extend the uh, pastel line. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is the Natasha Denona pastel palette this is the midi size and this is the color story right here i can't wait to pull this out and use this during the spring season um these colors are a lot more wearable than you think i will link the video that i did using this palette in the description box down below so that you guys can see how I've used this palette. You will also see this palette um, in my next couple of videos, uh, not this week, next week, just because, uh, you know, spring season is right around the corner. So I really wanna start playing around with this palette and dipping into it and using it in conjunction with its highlight, which by the way, I, I think that the highlight shade that, you know, she chose Okay, the camera's not focusing, hold on. I think that the highlight shade that she chose is a good choice for this color story. I think it really does flow with the pastel palette. And so when I saw this, I, I understood it. Uh, unlike in the past, you know, like the Zendo palette didn't really match its midi size version i think that this was uh very cohesive even in the packaging so let me just show you something even in its packaging it's cohesive i think it's stunning i think that she did a marvelous job with this launch this launch had an eyeshadow palette which i didn't pick up i just picked up the highlight and i'm just I'm smitten. I'm smitten with it. I'm not mad that there really isn't like a pink and a green um, shift because I like the overall color of the highlight. Would I have ever necessarily used a green highlight? I just don't feel that would have translated well on my skin tone. Um, pink, okay. Um, but really, I, I prefer this kind of tone of a highlight. 
and I love how blendable it is. You can really pack a punch with this if you want to or you can make it seamless and use it as a blush topper. I think it's a very versatile product and I think that the size of this is just perfect. So just for size reference, this is my palm and it is literally just the size of my palm. I think it's not too small, it's not too big, it's that middle of the road size that's just perfection for me personally. Um, I don't know if I told you guys it's made in Italy and the amount of product you get in here is point it's either is six grams or 0.211 ounces so i think that's quite a lot of product for a highlight in my son in my opinion i think this is gonna last me a really long time because this is not a product that we use as much as like foundation blush bronzer i feel like highlight is one of those products we use the least of and we like use in very minimal amounts okay so i hope you enjoyed this little demo of the new natasha dona pastel pexi glow highlighter and if you are interested in following me on instagram where i will be posting pictures of this up close i will leave that handle on the screen as well and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for joining me. You all have a lovely weekend and see you next time. Bye.